Oi, boy, boy. Today I'm playing uh, without its boxing day morning. Um, playing a uh, kind of Christmassy themed dizzy game, fan made dizzy game. And it's called Log Cabin Dizzy. Um, CD, and I just want to um, I just want to check my face cam. Just check that my face cam's moving. Yeah, chatter and recording. Yeah. So yeah, see as it takes the screen. Steal me your CD again. So yes, um, this game takes place in just a one room. And it's said uh, a log cabin of the old folk. If you haven't gathered that already, seen Dizzy and the old folk uh, and Poggy uh, scattered around the house or the cabin. If you want to be uh, pedantic about the description and title, and um, you can choose to kind of. Choose the type of sprites that you have as you play. You can have the classic characters like what you see on screen at the moment, even though they aren't quite classic because they're a bit too colourful to be truly classic Dizzy sprites. Um, or you can have cute sprites, which are. Uh, Newer and more modern sprites. Grand Dizzy's sprite looks a bit painful to her with his feet inverted and his ankles twisted in a rather awkward looking posture, don't they? Poggy looks very much the same as well. Really, with most of the characters, the main difference is just bigger eyes, it seems like, I think. And I think Dylan looks a bit like a cyborg in those sunglasses to where one of the lens is light with the glare of the light shining on it and the other's dark looking like an eye patch almost. I'm talking about Denzel by the way just in case I actually accidentally refer to him as being Dylan. And look at his headphones pulsing as the music blasts into his ears. That's not very nice, is it? And Delsey looks very much the same as well, aside from bigger eyes, I think, doesn't they? Well, yes, with me being something of a traditionalist, baby dolls, I'm gonna play with the normal traditional sprites. So, without further ado, even though I think it won't take me long to complete without it only takes place in the one room. Let's get started, Sunny Jim. So, here we are, in the log cabin, which apparently is beset with many problems, 
And if I don't act soon to remedy these problems, Dizzy's entire family will freeze to death. As apparently this log cabin is open to the elements. As you might be able to tell from that window, um, up by Dora and Dylan, which uh, appears to be open and has snow pouring in from it, landing on top of the archway of this doorway here. But before speculating any further, Playboy, let's talk to Grim and Dizzy and see if we can get some insight into the situation, eh? Not like that, though. There you are, Dizzy, my boy! Can you stop this water dripping on me, boy, boy? Why don't you move from under it, boy, boy? Use your wisdom acquired from through old age for once. Why don't you, hey boy, boy? Because I need to be near the fire to keep warm, boy, boy. Which reminds me. Which reminds me to hurry up and. Light it. I'm getting cold, boy, boy. Yes, grim, dizzy, boy, boy. There's not much logic to what he's saying, but he is the patriarch of the family. Therefore, we better we therefore we better respect his wishes, eh? Have you got anything to say, Porgy? Hi, Porgy, boy, boy. Eek, eek, boy, boy. You try to lift Porgy off the wood. What's he next, you boy, boy? This isn't gonna kill me, is it? Ow, boy, boy. Well, that's fortunate. Or I survived being bitten by that mischievous little creature, isn't it? Have you got anything to say, Dylan? You've got to get that file, it's just good. I'm freezing. And feeling a lot colder than I'd like to be. Even though I do pride myself on being good. I'm working on it, then, so I'm working on it, boy, boy. Also, my drink is too warm, dude. Yes, I'll see what I can do about these various quandaries suffered by the old folk then. Dizzy, please hurry up and light the fire. My feet are so cold, boy, boy. I'm going as fast as I can, Dora, so shut it, boy, boy. Um, and since I'm speaking to everyone, I might as well edit her Dylan's take on the situation. I must. We're all freezing in here, bro. Don't worry, Dylan, I'll get the fire lit, boy, boy. Thanks, man. The cold makes me feel so happy, dude. Uh oh, the last thing we want is you putting extra weight on us and zip, boy, boy. What? Didn't mean to pick something up, but alas, it seems like we've uncovered some kind of a bottle of something or other, doesn't it? 
I do say, can you light the fire so that we're all warm, I pray? Of course I will, my little breakfast treats, my boy. Oh, and can you bring me coffee, my boy? I'm afraid he'll be getting cold, my boy. Well, he sat in some wood, boy, boy. Maybe I could light a fire under him, boy, boy. Dizzy, boy, boy, just bring him to me, boy, boy. Public safety notice, boy, boy. Do not try at all. Dizzy was only joke, boy, boy. That's if you have your own pet fluffles at home anyway, that is boy boy. Which somehow I doubt you do, boy boy. I was boy boy. Well, that's a rather uh, menacing thought, isn't it? And Ozzy to complete the um the conversations, what do you have to say? Hey, Tizzy, it's far too cold to sleep in here, boy, boy. I'll get you to sleep, Tizzy, don't worry, boy, boy. Yes, as you wish, oh, ma'am. Everyone's health and safety and comfort seems to depend on me, doesn't it? So, I'll drop this panelling of wood here and, um... See what I can do to light the fire here, eh? Like, um, uh, maybe use... This match-looking thing up here, eh? An unused match. Will the match alone work, I wonder? And hopefully this won't kill me. The chimney is blocked. Boy, boy. So we obviously be needing to clear it then, won't we? Can we leave the house, even though we know this is only a one-screen Dizzy game? No, but we have revealed a hidden bottle. So I'll just, um, find somewhere to put this match and collect that bottle. Um... I'll find somewhere to put this door panel as well. I remember this being hard about this game, finding places to put objects that I didn't, that I don't exactly need. So evidently these bottles are the collectible items which we need to find all of in order to complete the game, eh? But I wonder what I could use to uh, unblock this fireplace. Um, maybe that net up there? A chimney brush. Yeah, that was right first time and it looks like I found um, another of these hidden bottles, doesn't it? Curiously enough. Now I need to find somewhere to put this, um, this useless item, don't I? I key here for it. And I just found another um, hidden bottle to top it all off. Still, at least we'll have plenty of room uh, once I've picked up all the bottles, won't we? But first I'll use the chimney brush anyway. On the chimney here, you push the brush up the chimney, boy, boy, and something falls down, boy, boy. Let me guess, another bottle, eh? No, a hammer. How 
curious. A nice samurai. Um, now where am I going to put this stuff? Well, I suppose I could just go around and collect all these bottles first of all, in order to clear all the space that way. Yeah. So, there's one here. And another here. And another here. And another here. At least that's not concealed anyway. Um, okay then, so, um, what to do now? First, I'll try lighting the um, chimney now that. Wait. The brush is too short to get further up the chimney, but. To get further up the Get fur from the chimney, boy, boy. Um, well, I will, um, well, let's see what other items we've got first of all, like this candle looking thing, a red balloon, the candle is lit, boy, boy. Um, Oh, I'll try using the match on the candle then. Maybe I should wait until the window is closed before lighting the candle, boy, boy. Otherwise, it's a blowout again, genius. Well, there goes Dizzy making me feel rather dumb again. So let's see if we can attend to this window, eh? You try to shut the open window, boy, boy. Or it's too stiff, boy, boy. Um, well then, um, I'll see if maybe this bottle of whatever it is uh, could Solve that problem, eh? The helium canister is leaking, boy, boy. That doesn't sound like something that could uh, solve my problem, uh, does it? But I wonder if the balloon could maybe um, stop that leakage in the helium bottle or whatever. Helium, boy, boy. And yes, the balloon is clearly inflated now, isn't it? But I wonder what we'll be doing with it. I wonder what the deal with this clock is as well. The clock is working, boy, boy. Uh, If, um, if it may be the, um, if maybe the workings of the window need to be hammered or something in order to allow the window to be closed. No. Uh, I could try opening that um, cupboard by Grand Dizzy, couldn't I? 
Oh, it did say it was locked earlier on, though, didn't it? Uh, what about this bucket? The metal bucket, I Um... Do we... No, I was going to try filling it with snow, but maybe we can pick up the bottle of helium now that we've used it to inflate the balloon, eh? So let's give her a shot. No, we can't. Um... Um... But Spurs Pole Kid want the balloon, even though I could just imagine him burst and then we sell. But it's worth a shot, regardless. But no, he doesn't seem to want it. Or Dora, maybe? No. <sighs> Maybe uh, if we release the uh, balloon into the uh, chim into the chimney, that could um, fly up there and um, clear away the dust and the dirt. Maybe I'll give her a try anyway. Try using the bucket to uh, catch the water dripping on Grand Dizzy then. Uh, doesn't seem to be working. Or maybe if I get higher up and use the bucket to uh, stop to catch the water. Ah, yeah. You fill the bucket with water, boy, boy. And it starts to overflow, boy, boy. That's not good, is it? Mm, can't think where I'd need water for, though, unless I need it to lubricate the window or something that's stiff. Yes, you place the buckets of water. You placed buckets of water. Buckets of water on the cold. On the cold ledge. Boy, boy. And it freezes solid. Boy, boy. What have we achieved by doing this, I wonder? The bucket of rice is frozen to the ledge, boy, boy. So, um, do we need to shatter it with a hammer or something? After all, this is a nice hammer, isn't it? I'll look at it to see if there's any difference between a normal hammer and this ice hammer, but there doesn't seem to be any points of distinguishment between the two, does there? You hit the ice with the hammer and the hole. And the whole thing shatters, boy, boy. Notice how I'm playing in the dark in order to further contribute to that cold, wintry crisp. Cold, wintry, wintry, Christmassy feeling as well, eh? I wonder if I can pick up this debris of glass or whatever without hurting myself, eh? 
even though I'm wearing protective boxing gloves and all some crushed ice I eh? still haven't managed to close the window though have we eh? so what could we be needing this crushed ice for I wonder Maybe to uh, make Pokey's little platform uncomfortable so he'll go running up to Daisy. Eh? No. Or maybe um, in the fireplace. No. Or maybe to seal up this dripping uh, in the ceiling. No. Or maybe using the sharp eyes to pick the lock of this cupboard. You can only carry one item at a time, by the way, in this game. Or maybe, um... Denzel himself would appreciate some crust and eyes. Maybe to make a cool drink for himself to keep himself cool and hip and happening, gay. Hi, Denzel. Here's some ice for your drink, boy, boy. Thanks, dude. Here, have this can of oil, man. So now I suppose we have a means of starting a fire even though, um, or maybe we can use it to lubricate this window so that we can actually close it now, eh? You spray the window frame with oil, boy, boy. And it swings closed easily, boy, boy. As it closes, something falls off the top, boy, boy. What could that be? A pendulum? I wonder if it'll start a clock. Try to use the pendulum on the clock, boy, boy. But it's battery powered, so it doesn't work, boy, boy. What if um, I use the pendulum to try and pick the lock on these cupboards then? No. Or maybe I can attach the uh, pendulum to the, um, the brush to make it longer so that I can reach further up the fire with it. Fireplace with it. Doesn't seem to work, does it? I can't seem to pick up the um, brush anymore though, can I? <sighs> and can I use the match to light the fire? No? Oh, float the balloon up the fireplace? No. I wonder if someone will have something to say with me to thank me for closing the window, maybe? Like Dora? No, or Dylan? No. Or Polgy? No. 
I might as well try everyone, I suppose. Could try blocking the leakage in the ceiling with the pendulum, couldn't I, with it being narrow and all? No. Or maybe hypnotizing Dozy to sleep by swinging it in front of his face, maybe? Ah! I thought that was a harebrained idea, but it seems to work. Relax and watch the pendulum, Dozy. Boy, boy. You're already feeling sleepy, boy, boy. Dozy sinks into a deep sleep. Uncovering something, boy, boy. That was easy, boy, boy. And I didn't expect it to work, boy, boy. Yeah. And so, what have we here? Some kind of... Oh, we've lost a pendulum. Some kind of a rack of some sort, a soft towel. Maybe this can be used to carry Porky to Daisy, then, eh? No. Or wrap around Grand Dizzy to keep it dry from the dropping raindrops, eh? No. Um. to keep doing warm since he looks rather vulnerable sitting like that, doesn't he? No. Oh, to block the dripping of the ceiling then. No. Um. Oh, to... Uh, Attach it to the brush and use it to clean further up the fireplace. No. Well, or maybe I've got to actually climb further up to clean up further up the fireplace. Oh, could always try lighting the candle now that the window's closed, couldn't I? Like Dizzy suggested earlier. You light the candle with the match, boy. With the match, boy, boy. Let's hope it doesn't kill me when I'm stuck right in front of it, eh? And it burns, and it burns down, boy, boy. Oh, dearie me. To be hoped we haven't done more harm than good by destroying it in such an unfortunate manner, isn't it? Hot candle wax. Now, what could we be needing this for? Maybe to make... Hoggy stump too uncomfortable for him, so we'll be willing to leave it. No. Oh, to light the fire, even though um, apparently it still needs to be cleaned some more. No. Um. Use it to seal up the ceiling? Yes. You push the hot wax into the hole, stopping the leak. Boy, boy. But that's. Uh... But that sounds like it'd be painful for us to do, though, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so I imagine Grand is here, but you're thankful now, so. Let's see what he's got to say now that the dwarves is no longer dripping on him. 
I've stopped the water dripping, grand dizzy boy, boy. Get that! Or I'm soaked now, boy, boy! Well, we have found a towel that could presumably dry you now. So let's see if that's all you good enough, eh? Use a towel for you to dry us. For you to dry yourself with fantasy. Fantasy boy poo. Thanks a lot, boy boy. Here, take this chunk of cheese. I've been saving, boy boy. So maybe this can be used to um, persuade Porgy to come with us, eh? You beauty, she's a pog. It's a pog, and a greedy fluffle eats the lot. Boy, boy. Soon they'll be calling him a fat boy, boy. Now he's placated. He lets you pick him up. Boy, boy. Yes, he looks very still and relaxed all of a sudden, doesn't he? I'm just making my... I'll be making myself look dumb if he was always still. Rather than moving constantly like the rest of the characters, wouldn't I? Looks funny seeing Pogi in our inventory as well, doesn't it, eh? And that looks like a cute place for him, doesn't it? On top of the fireplace here, but no, um, Let's give him to the woman who wants him. What? Um, I'll, be, I'll try dropping the wood paneling first. Oh, uh, uh, what's it door? Oh, Who wants a pokey? Oh no, never mind. Yay! Yes, Daisy, safe and sound. I didn't light the fire under him after all, as you can see, boy, boy. Say I can follow warnings and disclaimers just fine. There's nothing wrong with my reading and writing comprehension, you see. My reading and writing comprehensive skills, boy, boy. What are you doing, Daisy, boy, boy? Checking you for birds, boy, boy. I don't, I don't trust you with them, boy, boy. Yeah, I don't need these slippers anymore, boy, boy. Oh, thanks. Uh, maybe Dora would want them. Oh, it's enough for sure, but I digress, boy, boy. I've got you some slippers for your feet, Dora, boy, boy. Oh, oh, oh thank you, this boy, boy. Here, you can have this nice picture, boy, boy. Oh, uh, thanks, it's lovely, boy, boy. Oh, it does look nice and colourful and cute anyway, and it's framed there, doesn't it? Looks kind of like Dora's Certificate of Higher Education, doesn't it? A framed picture, eh? Has it got on the mantelpiece, like so? Well, oh, I didn't think that'd work. You reach up and hang the picture on a hook. Right, right. 
and something falls off a brick break away. Um, or a rod of some sort of one stick, which presumably we'll be able to attach to this brush so that it can reach further up the chimney, eh? You attach the stick to the sharp brush, boy, But it won't stay in place, boy, boy. Oh, that's rather awkward of it, isn't it? Um... Well, we haven't got the stick anymore, though, have we? Um, so I wonder what I need to do. Can I interact with this candle stump here? No. Or maybe I need to take this block of wood and pole he used to be sitting on. A pile of wood, eh? But what could we need this for? For Dylan, maybe? No. Oh, I guess we can put it in the fireplace, although it won't help at the moment, will it? The chimney is still blocked. Boy, boy. Um. Well, I can move the um, hydrogen over to helium now. No? Um. So wait till I see up I burst into blue or something. No. Music's very eerie and menacing, isn't it? Daisy wants to balloon. A poke, you know. Or Denzel. Or it may be ex or it may be the balloon bursting can cause enough splash damage to blow open this cupboard. No. Maybe Dora wants it? No. Or Dylan? Ah. Hey Dylan. Hey Dylan, here's a balloon to help you feel lighter, boy, boy. I don't get how that works, but I digress, boy, boy. Thanks, dude. Can you look after this key for me, boy, boy? No problem, Dylan, boy, boy. Why, I imagine the key will be most useful indeed for me. Like for opening this cupboard, maybe? You use the key to unlock the cupboard, boy, 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 boy. And what have we here? A vacuum cleaner of some sort? Or a pot of glue? So presumably we'll be able to solidify the joint parts of our newfound long brush here, I. You glue the stick onto the sharp brush, boy, boy. 
to make a longer brush break run. That'll come in handy, won't it? It even looks longer now, doesn't it, to pick up? As a physical object, anyway, it looks longer, as you can see. Looks like, looks different coloured as well. Which makes sense when you think of how it's essentially Frankenstein from two different objects, doesn't it? So that's a nice realistic touch, so... So congratulations, young Jamie Douglas Bray-Bray. You, pu you pushed a longer brush up the chimney, Bray-Bray. And something else falls down, Bray-Bray. What could this be? Uh, a file or a chisel of some sort? A screwdriver, right? Eh? Oh, what could I be needing this for, I wonder? To start a clock? How to open the clock, maybe? You prize the back of the clock off with a screwdriver to fix the good, good. Right. Find something in the case, play, play. By the way, doesn't tell him not cute over there with his balloon floating up against the ceiling, eh? But yes, what have we got? I mean, I know there's this match here, but... But the game said we should have something else, and I'm not finding anything else. So that's rather worrying, isn't it? Like, makes me wonder if, if I've broken the game or something. But no matter, I'll just try uh, lighting the fireplace anyway. Chimney is now a blocked by God. You need wood in the fireplace before you can light the fire. Boy, boy. Let's do that then. Uh, by dropping the match and placing the pile of wood. The pile of wood in the fireplace, as the game so helpfully suggested. You put the wood in the fireplace. Boy, boy. And we can't pick it up anymore, as you can see. So it can be lighted from a safe distance. You light the fire with the match, boy, boy. Well done, Dizzy, boy, boy. You got the fire lit, boy, boy. Now I can warm my old bones, finally, boy, boy. But we all got so cold waiting, we need a festive drink to warm us up, boy, boy. Here you go, Daisy. Oh, that was Daisy talking. Intriguing trees, Batman. I, I got each of you a whiskey boy, boy, during my heroic adventurous and searchful endeavors of exploration, boy, boy. Oh, Daisy, my hero, boy, boy. You played for 44 minutes and 43 seconds, boy, boy. Way to make me feel slow and dumb game. But I'll take what I can get, so thank you indeed. And just like that, we've completed the game. After lighting the fire and making the cabin look warm, inviting and cosy, the dozy comfortably and content and contentedly, if that's a word, asleep in the attic up above, 
and all the other characters happy that have solved their various quandaries and problems in life on this rather festive cold night. Uh, and yes, in case you haven't gathered, by boy, the game is now officially complete. And isn't it nice how with that colourful version of Denzel we can see the dark colour of his facial hair on his chin there, right? Quite a nice touch indeed, I feel. And so, as nice as it is to stare at this cosy, warm, inviting scene on this dark Christmassy night, I guess now there's no, there's nothing else to do but um, bring an end to this uh, adventure right, as we restart the game and get the eerie title music. Eerie just like the, the in-game music was for that matter. Yes, we're done now, so by all means, baby dolls, now that the interior of the cabin looks cold and forlorn again, I suppose it's time that we turn the game off to avoid that cold and uneasy and uncomfortable feeling, and... I'll be stopping our video now, so until next time, boy boy, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Goodbye, my friends and family. Adios. Take care, boy boy.